what's up wild people welcome back to my channel if you're new i'm alexandria denise here with another garden update for um july 16th 2024 and at some point i was talking about my salad bar and how it got destroyed so if you haven't watched that video go back and find it but i basically talk about what happened here and now this is the video the aftermath of what i have done to restore it so as you can see this is the salad bar and uh in order to make this happen, a couple of things had to happen first. I had to put some strategies into play. And I believe I mentioned in the uh, in one of my previous videos that I was having a little bit of an ant problem. So I actually had to take care of that first. And how I did that was just taking some ant killer. And as you can see, I had some of the little tabs right here. And basically you would put the solution on the um, on the tabs in this case I used some of the old garden leaves that I had pruned out and uh, I just put that here so that the ants can take on to the solution I've mixed it with a little bit of honey so they're not too suspicious I still have some ants crawling around so it didn't take care of all of the problem but it did help control the problem um, because what they were doing is uh, every time that I plant my seeds they would come and dig them up and i noticed them carrying the seeds away so uh i had to take care of that because i can't be feeding the ants and then trying to feed myself too so but it also worked in combination to the rain that we were having now here in georgia they burrow underground in all this red clay they love to build their um their nest out of red clay so obviously as you can see got all of that going on there nothing much i can do about it but they take them and they place them underground. Now with the rain, they don't like to be above ground. It washes them away. So that was the perfect opportunity for me to go ahead and put my seeds out into the bed. Because in addition to keeping the ants away with the ant killer, as well as uh, keeping them underground in the rain, it gave my seeds time to germinate. Also, lettuce seeds are usually a cool weather plant but you can plant them in the summer in the right conditions and the right strategy. A lot of the seeds don't germinate in soil temperatures that are above either 60 or 70 and it's been in the 90s here. I did have to wait on the rain and the cooler days to make that happen. Now I planted my first batch back in May and I was going to kind of do a call out around this time of the year anyway to see if it can be done so perfect timing and I got some good results to show. But I, in addition to waiting on cooler temperature, I also ended up getting this mesh cloth from Amazon, which was about eight bucks. And it has helped a lot. It ha it's supposing to um, reduce the soil temperature by 70% by keeping out the sun's UV rays. Now, as you can see, it's about one o'clock here. Naturally, I have this in uh, the shade because I knew that it will be too harsh for my lettuce to be out in open sun uh, in the middle of the afternoon. So if it can get good morning sun, then I, I would be pretty much good. And that's what happened. So with the spot of my lettuce being where it is, on top of having this mesh cloth, waiting for cooler days and controlling my ants, I was able to produce these results right here. Now I still kind of keep the mesh cloth on to a degree. Working with one hand here. I still keep it on the majority of the day, but my seeds have finally sprouted. And this was about a week or so ago. So I do have um, results as they grow and start popping up out of the soil, but I sectioned them off this is my salad bowl blend over here I got so all of this section I have some matador spinach growing here red leaves growing here some more matador spinach my little gem which is actually a heat tolerant variety of lettuce that's done pretty well and I got some uh, Swiss chard growing up this way and I got more matador spinach back here in the back. Now, these are old, but I do have a little bit of a aphid problem. 
and some of the soft body ones I just blast them away but I'm gonna end up harvesting that and obviously my arugula here I love this variety this is the uh, wild rocket variety I planted some more right here because it's so good I love it in my eggs in the morning and yeah I've got to harvest my onions as well I do keep it in there as a deterrent but I'm about to get those out and plant a new batch so as you can see some of the old ones immediately went to seed these are basically just like little bulbs still they didn't do too much but I still was able to uh, cook with them but uh, yeah so this had mulch in it but I had to take the mulch out because uh, I didn't want the seeds to get smothered you know so I basically did the lasagna method where I put seeds on top of the existing soil before laying out um, some new soil along with the cow manure to help the seeds uh, germinate and this is the results here so I've been keeping it covered it's been raining here but when I water it I water it with the cover on because I didn't want the seed I don't want to dislodge any of the uh, plants here they are shallow shallow root right now so they haven't quite gotten that root system that they need and they can be easily dislodged with some of the uh, pressure of the water so what I do with the uh, cover on I basically just spray underneath the cover so that it then drips onto the soil and it still gets the soil moist enough for them to uh, you know do what they do other than that this is my update for the salad bar it's I'm pretty pleased with the results but with a little bit of planning and strategy uh, it can be done definitely can be done so uh, like share and uh, subscribe to the tribe for more updates and I'm eager to bring you more I got stuff going on with my three sisters here so also look at those videos there to see what I had to do to get that back up and running but until then guys stay wild